could also just like take a break when the pizza comes or and come back. I'm or, already recording. Yeah, so. I know. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So, um, <laughs> hello and welcome to Only Mr. God Knows episode three of 2024. And as we say every time on this uh, uh, podcast, don't watch the Eurovision. Hi, it's your Eurovision analysis podcast. That is. It's, Amazing. it's a fun a square to circle. Um, yeah, so today we've got we've got we've got members of the council to give their opinions. Um, <laughs> members of the here, council. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I am your I am your guide through your vision world. Uh, um, but we've got we've got the house team. We've got the house robots. Uh, uh, we've got the the. Did anyone else watch Robot Wars? It was a very like a UK Ireland thing, I think. So like no, uh, yeah, the house robots. I'm too the, young. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> You just say that to anything. When yeah, I bring literally. It to like, Every time I don't know what you guys are talking about, I'm just like, I'm too young. I could be talking about like the new like Disney Plus Shogunate show or whatever. You're just like, I'm too young. I'm not watching that. No, I actually want to watch that. Yeah, fair enough. I'm too old. <laughs> Damn, I can't win with you. Um, so we've got, we've got Nick and Uma, uh, uh, um, two of uh, the members of the house team, which is to say people who will be on stage on Girovision mm -hmm. to give their opinions this year of the uh, uh, Girovision songs. Uh, uh, Nick is leaving the room, so I'm going to turn to him first. <laughs> Hello, Karen. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I haven't left the room. <laughs> you have not left the room. Um, maybe just... Oh, yeah, the beers. The beers Ooh, and he's Zola. getting the beers. Zola, Zola. That makes so much sense. Marcus and Martinez, what a horrible. People do that with twins, though. But yeah, it should know. be legal. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but, um... but it's, it's it's super common in um, really common thing in Australia, actually, not with twins, but for all your siblings to have names that begin with the same letter, like Kim, Chloe, yeah, you know, yeah whatever yeah, yeah. the Kardashians, or of the you know the famous Australian kids show that everyone was watching, Bluey, where the, the oh you know, yeah kids called Bluey and the brother the sister is called Bingo. Um, I know a family of like uh, Josie, Josh, uh, Jenny. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you about that. <laughs> I think I know it's kind of cute. I think it's like weird when it's twins. Maybe that's a little too close. Jimmy but, and Johnny. Yeah, exactly. Well, we have Marcus and Martinez this year from Sweden. Um, the the all dancing act from Norway. The Norwegians they can dance now due to the oil money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so they've taken time to dance. So what's your um? So how do you want to then address the council? What are you bringing to us for? Well, I, I, what, are we, I'm what are you bringing judgment. forth for, for for judgment today? Well, well for 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 the evening of Eurovision, I will need your top ten, but we don't need that today. We just need the the songs that you have been vibing with from the selection. Okay. Okay, that's yeah. very fair. You. Yeah, I gave also. Well, at the beginning, I watched all of them today. Good job. All right. Um, which then I didn't completely watch all of them, but I got a general idea. The top half of the alphabet, I watched and I gave little notes. Mm. Um, some that I do want to address. Others, um, if they just Take said boring uh, or have nothing, in the case <laughs> of Belgium, oh. uh, we can skip them. So poor Musty. I um I I I. We'll go back and forth, and if yeah, you, we can go yeah. back and forth. Maybe like um, well, I'm going to try to. What do you want to bring up first, Nick? Uh, oh, I'm 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 going first. Yeah. All right. Since we're going alphabetical order, I'm going to go with the one that then impressed me immediately. Yeah. Which is not Albania. Albania, no. I wrote five boring. Uh, um, yeah. Armenia though got a nine on my yes. list. Yes. Because Armenia uh, kept it very traditional, but they did this thing that then that um, it reminded me a lot of like okay. A lot of the rhythmic patterns are pretty common in, of course, uh, Armenian like folk music, mm. and mm -hmm. um, it's like I I don't know if it is actually polyrhythmic, but there is like a a hi hat going at a slightly different tempo than you would imagine than it going with the rest of the beat, and it makes it sound like a really metal breakdown, <laughs> which rips, and it's actually kind of common too because there's a um, a uh, um, Armenian jazz uh, pianist I think he is I forget his name but he like has kind of like composed a lot of his stuff in mind of as well of two of like metal music as well like yeah. with his piano compositions also like mimicking these like rhythm patterns because they like also appear in Armenian music so yeah. it's this kind of like full circle thing of it and that, I thought that was really cool and um but I think that then that because it is so traditional yeah that it's not gonna like go like do very well in the actual competition 
Yeah. Okay. So this is this is Jacko. I think is the name of the uh, uh, group. I've forgotten the name of the song, um, but it is it is good. I really like it. It's I don't know where it ranks for me yet. How did you feel about Armenia? I liked it. I <clears throat> whenever a song in Eurovision is first of all in the native language of the country, mm. and then it includes native like songs or folk music or homages like yeah some yeah. sort of yeah hinting yeah that is already like even if i don't like the song itself that is already like very positive in my eyes because yeah you're that's getting like an extra point, point or two yeah like yeah. like even if i actually hate the song i'm like no but like you know you have points because you actually did something different and yeah. you did something that is representing your country mm. because you are representing your country in this freaking, you know, thing, yeah. event, whatever, a competition. And it's not just, you know, a pop song in English so everybody yeah. can listen to it. But I actually did like the song as well. Is it the one with like the flute? Yep. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like that it was also like very, it seemed a lot faster than a lot of the other entries. There's like a, there's a, there's a rush about it. There's like a, like there's a real get up and go kind of like. Like we're happy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And There's happy, but there's like a kind of like a musical equivalent of like, that feeling you get when you run so fast you almost fall over yourself uh, <laughs> is kind of like the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like stumbling over itself with the... Um, the rhythm, I yeah, think. Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I really like that. Um, it's going to... It's set to do decent... Like, it's going to qualify. I think it's definitely going okay. to qualify. It's coming out of the semis. Uh, but, like, I don't know where it's going to rank. Yeah, I mean, I, I put Armenia again, like, because we're watching it in a weird format to where then... If this one was probably put up live, I probably would have like ranked it lower. Not like in the sense I would have been like, "Oh, this is bad." But I mean, I think that then like the music the, video is very fun. The I don't music know. video is very mm-hmm. fun. So I was like, I was entranced with that and with the rhythms and whatnot. Yeah. It was a very fun. It was like it was nice coming off the bat back of Albania, which was just like boring. a very boring pop song, yeah. and then immediately being hit alphabetically with like, "Oh, this is." like at least like something that then is a breath of fresh air for then like you know i I wish it would have come later i guess in the list because i'm gonna be watching like eight shit just like generic (laughs) like you know either like bruno mars ass sounding songs or like who wants to be you know dua lipa a hundred times over but we gotta make more dua lipas we are yeah we need to close the dua lipa gap that's developing between all other nations and albania um (laughs) they have one dua lipa we have zero (laughs) Uh, um, what's the first song you want to bring up? What's what's one of the, one of the notable songs you I have? I actually really... I think that's the first... No. It's not the first song I heard of Eurovision. But I was presently surprised. I don't know what the... I know the song because I have the Spotify playlist. But I don't know the country. Yeah. Uh, the one... Rim Tim Taggy Dim by Baby Lasagna. Croatia. I really yeah. liked it. It's, it's really a, fun. Yeah. Again, it's in their language. And it's like got, you know... A lot of it's in English. Is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe I wasn't listening. <laughs> like, I just like the vibe. <laughs> the whole song is about um, the whole song is about emigration. Oh, yeah. yeah there's no I going am back. So uh, um, oh, it's the whole like uh, um, I want to become one of those city boys. That the, uh, uh, they're so fancy, they're so advanced. Maybe they too also know our dance. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, well yeah. that's fun. I don't know. I yeah. Sometimes it's a lot of sometimes fun. English just doesn't sound like a, English to you. <laughs> yeah, like English, especially if like the other person also has an accent. I'm that, just like that I'm does lost. remind me of a story that my sister had when she was like at a bar with a bunch of other like English. Uh, uh, um, like uh, English teachers uh, uh, in Spain, but like all, all of them were not like they were capable of teaching English, but like they were they Spanish. Were Spanish yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the uh, worst. Yeah, I know. But like they they were all in the bar. They're all very competent. I'm like my sister would never say like a bad word against any of them in terms of their ability to teach English. But, but. <laughs> Red Hot Chili Peppers came on, and they were just like what the fuck is give away <laughs> like give away now or whatever it was like what the fuck are they saying and she was like they all know 
all of those words individually, but they just did not register it as those words when it's chanted several times give by it a man. Away, give it away. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, it's like. Um, I mean, to be very fair, like a, a, a European hearing red hot chili peppers for the first time being. <laughs> You don't understand you know. shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. California. <laughs> Feeling okay. It's like Tessa? a psychic attack of California like, lodged at your brain. Honestly, having lingu- uh, uh, English as your second language is just basically like, you know, when you stare at a word for too long. It loses all meaning. And it's just like, I know it's, I wrote it well. Yeah. But what, like, what is this? <laughs> and it's maybe just like the n- most normal word, like hospital or whatever. And you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> the His word that's word basically doesn't make the... sense. It means nothing. You're just like, who? Huh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's like you're so, permanently yeah. just consuming the ketchup song uh, that so has, no air, no. has no lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hell yeah, great song. Um, yeah, Croatia is wonderful. I uh, um, I love Baby Lasagna. He's a whole like fairy tale story as well because like he was put on. He wasn't selected for the national final. He was put on the shortlist, okay. and then like someone dropped out. Oh, so you're, you've that's you've, crazy. You've man. made that's you've, how you get into university. <laughs> so for 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 uh, uh, Girovision, you yeah. then have made a three minute long short documentary about <laughs> Baby, Baby Lasagna. Lasagna's life to the tune of Fort Miners. <laughs> Remember the name, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, don't give me war work to do. <laughs> but the um, no, because it's great because like, it caused a scandal within like Cro- like Croatia because he won. So you're ruining the documentary. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, he won. Um, he fucking won with like more points than like all of the other acts combined, and everyone was just so pissed off and like. Why wasn't he immediately on the list? Yeah. This song slaps. We love it. And if there's like reaction, like easiest, con- I don't understand any country that doesn't put effort into their like national selection process. Like Croatia has like no fucking money. Uh, uh, um, and like they managed to do such a good job because like one of the easiest bits of content they made for it was they just got like, we got like, 10 pensioners, five women and five guys <laughs> to react to all the songs. <laughs> and like the reactions, I've seen it subtitled, the reactions of old people listening to Rim Tim Taggy Dim is just like a lot of old people is going like, ah, yeah, this is a fun song. Yeah, it represents Croatia well. There's really nothing in this country for young people, is there? Oh. <laughs> There's like, they all have to leave. Because <laughs> like he lives in, um, I think he lives full time in Austria. Oh, okay. Yeah. Strange. His girlfriend made the music video as well. The whole thing's been like a shoestring budget for him. That whips. I I also had um. I mean, Baby Lasagna gave um, gave Baby Lasagna a ten. Hell yeah, a ten out of ten. There are yeah. um, un- like unlike this. Anthony Fantano, I have given a lot of tens here. I have three <laughs> tens listed. Croatia. What's your other ten? Croatia. Is, hang on, just to say, like oh, Croatia yeah. is um one of the what favesies. I, one of four that could possibly win this year. Yeah. yeah. I yeah I gave I mean I I'd seen Croatia's video a while ago so mm. I was already like this rips on board it was fun and it's it's yeah I mean it's 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 also like a fun like heavier pop weird song but it does the thing that then I think that um, I don't know if we're gonna talk about them or not if this is on your favesies or not but um, like what you guys like the Netherlands. Yeah. One, yeah. the like kind of other weird poppy one. And that one, I, I don't know. I didn't find it nearly as fun as this one. Have you listened to the full song? Yeah, I have. Okay. It, like, yeah, that is Euro pop the Euro pop. Yeah. Pop, oh, yeah, fucking like, love it. Sorry. <laughs> like, yeah, I think like, yeah, yeah, it's like, like I get it. Like I get, five. I like, I can completely understand that then why uh, that would like, why people like that one. I just think that then it's like, I I don't know if I would be seeing so many of these types of songs, which one would I rather have? And I would much no, rather have ga- the baby what lasagna is it called? one. Gabber? Yeah, Gabber. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Break. Like it's I know. so no, no, fun. No. Nick is kind of right though, because one of the things that's happened this year is the guy who came second last year, Finland, Karia. Oh yeah, they tried to copy. Everyone's him trying to do their weird he, version of this. Well, kind of, but like he's gone around and given his blessing to three different acts. He's going around acting like a Eurovision Godfather at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> which is like kind of sick and it's Croatia, Netherlands and Finland that he's given like the like blessing to basically. Yeah, and I have I mean Finland are also trying to be like him, no? They're the weird ones. Yeah, they're Windows 95 man. They and, have a history uh, of that. Yeah. Like I mean 
I don't know because no, like no, no, maybe I mean I don't mean the the acts themselves are yeah. trying to be like him because like obviously these people have been doing it's, music for a long time. Or, I get what you're saying. Like it's going to appeal to the same demographic. Yeah, and that that is like a problem with both like or, like uh, Uro Papa and uh, uh, Rimton Taggy Dim is that they like they're going to split that. They're both like televote getters, mm. and they're going to split that probably. Which is why people like that's where the other two contenders come from. Yeah, and I think that in the sense of all of them, I can guarantee the one that's going to do the worst live would be the of of the three of them yeah. is Finland Windows ninety five men because even the performance on the recording when you hear it, his like vocals are weak as shit. So it's yeah. it's just like it's, it's like more about the spectacle. It's the but spectacle which is not going to be done. Well. Yeah, but it's not going to be done well buy it's, that with yeah. five people or whatever you know the problem i think the problem with finland staging is because the whole thing of him like coming out with no pants on and then eventually he gets pants on and like they control the camera so that you can't like ever see his dick um like he's wearing like fake skin pants or whatever but still uh, all of that is like will work on the TV at home. Yeah. But it's not going to work for anyone in the room and that might mm. make the vibe kind of sour. Like people aren't going to be as hyped for it as mm. something that would also work in the room. Because um, that's happened before. Like I went to Eurovision Live and a lot of Eurovision acts are really big fans of having like the cameras, the camera spin around them while they're singing. Mm -hmm. You see that all the time with live staging. Sucks to see that on a stage. That just like sucks so bad. That works so well on TV. And then, like, when you're in the stage, it's just, like, random cameraman running around, like, a person <laughs> singing to meet them. And it's just, like, yeah, it was, that, that was definitely better on TV than yeah, it was yeah. here. <laughs> like, um, the magic of TV doesn't translate to the actual set. <laughs> yeah. And also, I think, like, with the Netherlands, and I think this will also happen with Spain as well. So, mm, an influence... I would like to see more was Serbia in 2022 when they did Incorporate Sano, still like one of my favorite songs of recent years about like, uh, um, about like how musicians don't get like healthcare. And she's like, um, cause the song is like artists must, must be healthy mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And she has that great line all in Serbian, which is like, uh, um, uh, like where the entire chorus just goes, God give us health, like the like quote. And then she just turns the camera and is like, cause I don't have insurance. Um, it's really good line and they did the right thing on the night which was they superimposed because they can do this you can put special effects on the camera they superimposed subtitles because mm. it's all in Serbia and they superimposed English subtitles for that one line because they're like yeah people need to, to hear, understand yeah this, to understand yeah. this bit I do hope that both Netherlands and Spain do something similar because I think yeah. the thing that's carrying both of those songs and why I is love is the them, meaning of it yeah is what's going on with the song yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's been I when I first heard um, Spain's song, obviously I understand it all, and I think it's really good, and I really liked it. Yeah. And then I went to I was curious to see what like Eurovision YouTubers or whatever think about it. Yeah. And it just like everything flew over Absolutely. everybody's head. They were just like, oh yeah, it's a catchy song, but like, and obviously they tried to translate it and just says slut, and they're like. Yeah, what? I would actually, I would love for them to subtitle every line but Zora. Yeah, like I think that would really work because then you would have everyone like <laughs> click throughout hearing the song of like they'll guess by context what it means. Yeah, basically. the thing is, many of the lyrics in that song, if you translate them directly, it makes no sense. Like sure. it's one of those cases that you have to find a, like approximate translation. You need an artful translation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's certain. Um, yeah, there's, I, I was listening to it coming here, and I was like, "Yeah, this. How would you explain this to like an English speaking person?" Because Does, do they make references in the lyrics to um, throwing the glass? Because that's something she does in the music video. No, no, no. Because like I, I know there's like I did. I know so I saw someone do like a collage of the song with this clip from like I want to say late seventies post Franco, like a. a variety magazine show where mm -hmm. like an older female performer is making this exact point and the kind of like line that she comes to is just like it's basically like become ungovernable she says like just like she grabs the glass of like water she's been given and it's like just throw the glass and she showers it on the floor like mm -hmm. you can't do anything just to just fucking rebel yeah um, and there's like references to that in the music video yeah yeah uh, where 100%. she's like throwing the glass and stuff yeah 
Um, and I understand that to be like a moment, of, like an iconic moment of like Spanish feminist history or something. But like, yeah, hundred percent. I mean, yeah. she is quite oldish. Yes, the, the singer. Yeah, and then we you will not I you will not say anything bad about her. <laughs> Nick loves oh, her. No, it's not yeah. bad. No, no exactly. she's still hot. Exactly. No, like, we defend our I lo- milfs. I here. love milfs. Yeah. <laughs> you can quote this me. This is on a pro milf podcast milfs. forever. My but, um, but she when, looks when oldish. Is, no, she's no she's in the perfect. sense that like obviously she was alive when this thing happened. Yes, and she was aware. The, and, the woman and an they adult. have. Okay, so first first of all, they legally have a girl representing Cyprus. She's sixteen years old. So like this is this is the competition we currently have. Yikes. So like yeah. Um and then what I love about the song is that there's like the music video. It's like old old ladies that just like remind me of my grandma so much and obviously these yeah. women like were adults during the the dictatorship and everything yeah, yeah. and it's just like I don't know. It's so much deeper than yeah, yeah. Well, I people guess think as well. I think the I think the age they're kind of like going for specifically is they were they were alive very much for the end of it when like there was this sudden like because my understanding of like the 70s in spain was just a lot of like when it came to things like catalonia the basque uh uh, women's rights whatever it was just like there was like a sudden reprieve like it was gradual in some sense but then if you're alive in the 70s, it's like, oh, suddenly we can talk about feminism, this thing that's been like a burgeoning movement in every other country bar ours. Yeah, I mean, by the end of the dictatorship itself, when Franco was already really old, hmm. um, there were massive protests before yeah. he died okay. of everything, of like Basque, like yeah. country independence, Catalan independence. Suddenly, uh, we're like, LGBT we can take this rights, old man. Like everything. No, it was everything. It was just like, we are fucking fed up. Like, mm. the people of my dad's generation, when my dad was like like 20 when, yeah. when this guy died, uh, when Franco died, um, they were like, we're, we f- we're fucking done. Like, fuck this. And then when Franco died, they weren't even sure that democracy was going to come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. because, but like, the the people basically revolted in every yeah. city like we want democracy and Some then the king the and then the king and... who was put there by franco was yeah. like well i guess i'll give you democracy if you uh, want it anyway sorry this has gone no, like, no, 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 a no. very different direction um, <laughs> all right so then nick what is another song we haven't mentioned so far that's on your uh, okay um i know that we mentioned this earlier in the sense that uh no, we mentioned it off mic actually mm. uh we made a comment which i agreed that we don't need to talk about that though uh that the the letter thing was stupid the 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 letter thing that all those uh artists wrote about like oh we're oh still yeah, gonna like, yeah, uh, yeah we're yeah. still gonna perform but we oh, like yeah. we know that what's going on is bad but like music can music unites love, us yeah, whatever <laughs> like, i mean i mean i'm just waiting at this point like i've given up all hope on that kind of, like on stuff happening from that end of things until the night like until yeah. the night of like i i'm hoping shit goes down like on stage on stage yeah yeah, yeah so That'd be fun. i At gave least something. i yeah. gave ireland a a 10 if i could give ireland an 11 i would give ireland an 11 Hell yeah ireland had uh the only reason i say that it is second fave is because the fave that it is having to beat out is greece mm. um and i'm not gonna let like no matter how good ireland is gonna be the fact that greece <laughs> the fact that greece has such a good song it is really good and song, yeah. it's that it's, been it's a while. like it's like my two favorite. They're both kind of like represent like my two favorite things. Also, that then yeah. I like that. Then it is actually it's the two moods of Nick. Yeah, <laughs> it really is. Yeah, so I um I'm not going to talk about Greece because I know that then it'll come up one way or another because yes, it's absolutely. so great. So, um, but what I really liked about Ireland of that is that I think that I appreciated that it was someone doing just in a lot of cases just. Not just like, oh, it's a metal-ish song, mm. but just like a metal song. 
I, you know, like yeah. it was it was genuinely heavy. She was like, you know, it wasn't it, it didn't seem phoned in. I mean, maybe she is a complete industry plant. I don't so, know. No, uh, uh, they. Uh, they. OK, they. All yeah. right. They, First non-binary you. entry to, to Eurovision. OK, that's very cool. They are established in like London in like lo- like they're, I don't think they're signed or anything. They're okay. not like yeah, an industry yeah, yeah. plant, but like they I wouldn't imagine stuff. Ireland be doing industry plants that like the way that your economy is. Oh, like, no, they do. Oh, well, no, 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 no. Was- yeah. But like not doing it in the sense of like, I don't know. I don't see Ireland being like, oh, we don't know, do it successfully. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> you know what? You know what genre would be really great right now is if we made like a Irish. What if we made like Ghost Mane? But if she was a woman, but if it was a, if it was a non-binary. Like Mane, yeah. yeah. A non a non, non-binary Ghost Mane. No, no. Because like when Ireland does industry plants. But, not, just- but doesn't rap. Yeah, no, we do. Our, Ireland industry plants is like just get Louis Walsh to do some bullshit again. Um, the guy who made like Boyzone and Westlife and shit just come. Yeah, along. no, no, no. And um, <gasps> Jedwar went off the other day against Louis Walsh. Yes, yeah. Okay, because okay, okay. Weird Irish inside baseball. So Jedward was put upon louis walsh i do not consider jedward a louis walsh act even okay. though he managed them okay. he was assigned them um in x factor okay. because they were like x factor contestants that did quite well and like they gave hit like he was a judge on x factor they gave jedward yeah, yeah, to him yeah, yeah. like not in a million years would louis walsh come up with jedward like he would yeah, just come up with too original. <laughs> yeah, they are actually genuinely too original. He would just do boys own a million times over. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. well, enough of your Irish uh, drama. Right. He's a monster. He <laughs> okay. needs to be stopped. <laughs> yes, I get this. But back they to the song then, because I we, we, we I mentioned the song for two seconds and then didn't go into like <laughs> we then we ended up into like local drama of know, right? of, oh, of what's going on of Irish boy bands. Oh, fight Louis <laughs> yeah. It is on site. <laughs> Oh, um, God, yeah. yeah, so the thing that, that I really liked about Ireland is that then it really is, one, something, uh, co- like, completely different than everything else, and it yeah. really, like, it took the thing that then Eurovision's been trying to do lately of, like, oh, let's get, like, heavier with it, and just, like, went to the extreme hmm. of, like, yeah, what if, like, I put notes here that then, uh, one, I would really think that it would be cool to say, like, um, what's their name again? Bambi, Bambi. Thug. Bambi, Bambi, th- what? Thug. Bambi Thug, okay. It's then, also like up there with Baby Lasagna. It is up there with possible Nick Instagram. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, um, I, I yeah, I mentioned the sense that it would be very like like very cool to then see Bambi Thug like collect like I mean their trajectory I guess seems that then could go very well in this like kind of like pop ish direction thing that like had this heavier stuff is doing. Yeah. And I really appreciate that then that it, like an artist currently was like, I'm going to go to Eurovision and do like, you know, things like bring me the horizon and like a bunch of like crazy, like intense, like rap stuff. That's very like goth and horror themed right now is very big, but like mm-hmm. online particularly. So let's like bring that then to us. Like, I don't know. I thought it was very good. And I also thought then the thing too, at the end of it, that was very interesting is that then it had like an actual breakdown and I noted here that then, like, it sounded like a Gojira breakdown. So it was, like, a bit more. No, it had a bit more yeah. than just, like, dun-dun, dun-dun, yeah, you know? I mean, it crap, had, like, yeah, it had, it had like, actually, like, weird, like, you know, guitar sounds in it and whatnot that weren't just, like, corny, like, you know, whatever, dive bombs or whatever. But, like, whoever composed it knew, like, I don't know. It was yeah. just, like, it was a fun little, like, oh, this is composed not just being, like, I've heard three rock songs, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, like, it, it, this is this is genuinely the stuff that they make. Um, and I think, like, the thing that I kind of thought of was, like, this is probably... This is probably one of the more contemporary things because this gets to one... I wouldn't call it hyperpop, um, but it gets to a quality that a lot of hyperpop stuff has, which is the sweet and sour of yeah. just like the ah, ah, da, 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 and then it just goes. I guess yeah, yeah, the star, of the mood, like that sudden like shift in tone is like really common in hyperpop. Yeah, of stuff. course, it is. It is like a. It is like a, a relative of like. I mean, it is very. It is Zoomer music. First yes. off, yeah. yeah, yeah. It is in the. It is in the very very TikTok if online. If Thug was to perform on the same billing as a bunch of hyperpop acts, it, it would, would make, make sense. sense but yeah. then Bambi Thug could also, you know, uh, 
appear alongside it seems like acts like ghost main uh uh what did i have listed here as well too of like cemetery city morgue stuff like that yeah so the win that ireland is trying to get this year is to get into the final yeah, uh, and I think that I think that I think that that. Do you think they will get into the final? Yeah. <laughs> depend. Yeah, it depends no, I on. Think, yeah, I like. I mean, that's the thing too. Is that then like Eurovision doesn't care how like out there and extreme you go as long as you make the the show really fun, and so, they're gonna yeah. probably do a very fun show. I I hope so. Uh, I think the thing that you're looking for whenever. Like when you look at the semifinals, is like, do you have two acts kind of doing the same thing, mm. going up against each other? And with Bambi Thug in the entire competition, there's not someone doing the same thing. Exactly. So like, I think on like at the end of the like at the night, people will remember Bambi Thug, and they will make it through to the final mm-hmm. because I of think that. So. Yeah, they won't win. But like we're as far as we're concerned, getting into the final is enough. Like oh, I mean yeah, yeah it's I would a show. It's yeah. an actual show, so it's but fun. yeah, Bambi Thug for me is is a the closest number two that could possibly exist because I would want to say number one, but Greece's is just too. <laughs> it's I mean you took I mean Rosalia is just too fucking cool, and you just ripped it off perfectly, and you did it <laughs> you, you did it yeah. well, and I love it, and it's like and it's so corny and Eurovisiony that it's like I, why would I even be mad that Greece ripped ripped off Ro- Ro- Rosalia like Rosalia, yeah. I love I Rosalia mean, and I'm Greek so it's the be best fair, of both like, worlds didn't, didn't ripe off it just reminds me just like the soft boy yeah and yeah then suddenly like more beat like yeah. kind of style I don't know and also the way she's dressed is very um uh, so Rosalia which is like modern I don't know so there's a really cool interesting, girly you know there's a really yeah, interesting exactly. thing with um I've forgotten her name the song's called Zari um, um, Maria something so check that for me uh, there old-time. because Marina si, mm. Sati Sati okay uh, um, she is an alum of is it Berkeley the major music school yeah, yeah. what mm-hmm. the hell yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. probably yeah, but... we've, no, we've, we've got a couple of Berkeleys in uh, um, in Eurovision this year it's her and uh, it'll come to me later there's someone else um, but the thing that got her like thesis in music was like her kind of like doing interesting experimentation and syncopation with something she's brought to the song of like taking these short snippets of her voice to like da da and like like making kind of music with that with her voice mm-hmm. like that's in her like thesis piece. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's like done that and brought it to like reggaeton with a bunch of Greek instrumentation with. The music video is so cool. <laughs> the music video that makes me so glad that we're boycotting this year and we just get to show the music videos. Oh yeah, because like my major concern with that song is like, how do you bring that fucking energy on stage? Mm-hmm. She would. I, I think it would be fun though. I really, I really. I think do. it would be fun, but like nothing beats just like doing fucking Tokyo drifts in your like Athens taxi with like the most deranged and confused looking German tourist. Um, that is a fun time. <laughs> I saw Tori and I'm like, I hope she's talking shit about them in this song. Like, I don't know what this song is about, but I it's hope. It's a great music video. Um, and that's the thing, too, yeah, as well, is that then I appreciate, again, back to the thing of doing the pop music, the pop song. We're talking about Greece now that, that we, we all, I mean, we yeah, all we, accept we can't that avoid this it, is, yeah, yeah, yeah that we, we, we've all accepted that Greece is probably in all of our our top fives, I would assume. It's no. somewhere in there for me. I haven't figured out yeah. where yet, but yeah. So, I mean, that's, yeah, I think that we can all just collectively give Greece a, uh, I mean, Greece has my endorsement, of course. For, uh. <laughs> but, no, I mean, like, but that's the thing is that then regardless of, yeah, you're right, regardless of, if, of how much at the end of the day, if it is or it isn't a rip off of something like that, I don't, again, it's Eurovision, not a rip it's off. not, I just no. said, no, but, but, but I'm just saying just in, in the, the sense, genre, it's uh, again, but the yeah. thing I'm saying is that regardless of it is, you missed the first part mm. of the thing I said, <laughs> is that, yeah, uh, is that, <laughs> It does all the things that I think a Eurovision song is supposed to do. You know, also, first mm-hmm. off, yeah, like, I mean, like, like, there are more blatant ripoffs of songs at Eurovision, you know, yeah, than just, yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah. like, like, for, for, I, first off, how many, how many Dua Lipa uh, uh, lookalikes do I we believe have? The, I believe oh, yeah. the, most the, of the girlies the are. Plural, yeah. The correct plural is Dua's Lipa. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Dua Lipi Dua Lipe yeah. <laughs> um, Alright so Uma uh, um, mm-hmm. Do you have any other Any other notable injuries 
The Italian one, actually, oh, La yeah. Noia. La Just Noia. also because when I first saw the playlist, I did a double take because it means the same. Like, it means the girl. And yeah. it's written exactly the same. And it means the same in Catalan. Okay. So I was like, huh? Yeah, <laughs> when, like- did, when did Catalonia get into uh, Eurovision? <laughs> Andorra but, uh, used to be uh, really yeah uh, they, fair enough. they took apart a couple of times. Europe, I guess. Yeah, I don't think they sang in Catalan. Though. Do they ever sing a Catalan song? That's a good it's question. their official language. I know, but. yeah, but like um, La Noia, yeah, that is another one of the the major four that mm. could possibly win. Yeah, I liked it as well. Same vibes as Greece, like fun, mm. own language, cool girly. I like it. It's a girly bop, but it hasn't done. Uh, um, this is the the what I'm going to start calling the Chanel curse, which is Chanel comes along with slow mo in 2022 for Spain, um, getting like third place, like the best Spain has done in like <laughs> hundred years, fucking 25 years, something yeah. stupid like that. And um, the thing that like it kind of dictated to every other like girly bop that happens in like Eurovision that there has to be a dance breakdown. Yeah. Um, and the problem is, um, cause we have that with, we have that with Cyprus. We have that with Malta. Oh my God. Yeah. There's <laughs> so many like girly bops that demand a dance breakdown. And the problem with yeah. that is like when the dance breakdown is happening, the song sucks yeah. cause it's just like the rhythm. Yeah. And if you can't bring the dance, it's just like, well, you just made a part of your song. But that's the thing is no that reason. every that's the thing though that every time that that there was a dance breakdown, I put that I very much enjoyed it because it's very predictable and very funny, and I always like watching it <laughs> because it's just like ever since like ever since it's yeah ever since it's become established as a Eurovision thing, mm. it is just like a thing that you will automatically get way more extra points if you do it because it just is. Like it's it's so silly, and yeah. I love the ones like the ones that make no sense. I mean, we we can just if we can quickly go through some of them that I really appreciate of, of the girly pop ones because I gave them really high scores, but <laughs> not because that they would be like really high up on my list, but just because they just are silly. Yeah. Okay. All right. So one of them was Cyprus I mentioned, of course, yeah. which you mentioned it was a 16 year old. She's 16 and that, she's talking about a, a so- she has, yeah. the lyrics are about like a guy who lies too that, much. Exactly. Like, yeah. You're not allowed to date. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. um, <laughs> You haven't seen shit. Like uh, it's so much worse. I I wrote then stupid song unnecessarily. Like for the thing too about them is that they have the most unnecessarily good production, like mm-hmm. music yeah. wise. Yeah. It is like, like it is like the it, it it is completely unnecessary for a song that's gonna get like twentieth in Eurovision. You yeah. Know? So like Cyprus, the reason Cyprus is like that is because I think they're the only country that has this arrangement where it's not like they don't defer to a national broadcaster or whatever to pick. Them. The song they oh, defer to the guy who owns it's a War label of tanks <laughs> no they give it to a label there's just a label who decides yeah yeah okay and then um but the the thing of the cypress song that got me just just i i had to rank i gave it an eight all right okay was because waking <laughs> wake up in the morning feel like ooh la la was <laughs> too fucking much to... was that this one of the lines that's of one of the lyrics yes and i just sat there and the whole and the whole music video is in just like one hotel that's like, yeah, yeah exactly so the fact of the matter that then that you have me sitting there watching a pop song and i'm fucking laughing my ass off yeah. you get you get extra you get a lot of extra my, points my favorite thing about uh, the music video is it's clearly in a hotel but like to, the reason they got permission to film is it's so very obviously off season so yeah. they're all in like swimsuits and like short jackets but they all look so cold yeah. <laughs> like it's... I um there was also then another one what's the other rundown of girly bop um, there was another girly bop one. Malta is another girly bop one. Malta I, is another girly bop one yeah there was another um, oh yeah uh, uh, Georgia was, oh, firefighter! Yeah, firefighter. The lyrics were they like just conduct like can like rise like a phoenix firefighter or whatever or rise from the ashes firefighter. She kept switching the lyrics from phoenix to firefighter, which I loved. Yeah, I love when then a song goes into English, but then just does and it's not like then she probably can't speak English, but it's just like we're just not gonna it fucking try. No well, like Armenia yeah. last year just took a bunch of quotes from Tumblr. <gasps> really? Yeah, 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 and also got some of them wrong. That, uh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that, that's like the um, 
those teachers in Japan yes. that have like English words on them yeah. and they think that you know because it looks aesthetic but it just says like water and dogs or yeah, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> sure. I mean I feel that we do that with Japanese oh, like, absolutely oh, 100%. 100%. No, 100% it's a rich culture but I culture mentioned of... like the, the English yeah. version you know with these songs yeah, yeah, yeah we're like we're all we're all wearing t-shirts in whatever language that basically just says Mr. Too Damn Mr. <laughs> 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 So, um, yeah, there so, was, those were the two big girly ones that I noticed that were so like bad that I had to acknowledge, but they were so bad that I gave them very high rankings because it's like, yeah, you didn't try. It. Yeah, I love it. It's such, it's, 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 it's perfect. So the, the reason I bring that up is because like La Noia by Italy, uh, uh, um, is the only, uh, female like pop song that doesn't have a dance break. Yeah. Yeah. So like. I'm... What do you do during that part then? <laughs> <laughs> she just stands. There. <laughs> um, no, they do it really well. Like the song, like the. the you mean inst- every song doesn't have one of these in it? <laughs> like... <laughs> Cypress Furious. <laughs> <laughs> Cypress sells mad at Italy Chads. Um, <laughs> yeah, so like. Yeah, I really like this. Is one of the potential because I can see Italy doing well with both viewers and jury. Um, unlike Netherlands and Croatia, which is going to be like overwhelmingly viewers and yeah. not jury, yeah. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm. Do you do you have any like ones that really like you you that itching to talk about? I, I I feel that then that the overwhelming majority. I don't know if it's just because I'm watching the music videos and it's because on the night it's a bit more. Ooh, you got the rush. Mm-hmm. Um, like overwhelmingly mid um this is also because this is before the the, the finals too so mm. this list will be oh, smaller yeah, this will be um down. yeah so i think that's the thing too is that then i never really watched this part of it as like much as you do mm. no i'm making you because mm. the format that we have the format's this different yeah. this year yeah <laughs> I mean, exactly the, the, the personally subjectively the per, the vibe that i have is that I either really like the song or I really dislike. Like, well, not really dislike. Yeah. I really don't care. Yeah. yeah. Like we we watched this recap before we started. Um, um, the mega mix. Yeah. Yeah. The mega mix before we started recording, and it was just like, oh, I love this song. Oh, boring. Oh, I love this song. Oh, boring. Yeah. Boring. Boring. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> like, it was like, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, um so yeah i'm just bored of the pop songs like, yeah i'm just yeah, really exactly. bored I just like show me something different show me something in your language with your culture in it yeah so like um that's it the <laughs> thing that then is the most unfortunate too is like i think the the attempt that really just for me fell the flattest on its face is australia's yeah it's really so it's unfortunate it's yeah. unfortunate because like so what's i don't understand exactly what happened but like halfway through australia's very short tenure this year or like in eurovision which is like what this is their seventh year now they had this like show called australia decides where they would pick and then they stopped doing that i think during the pandemic Hmm. and ever since then they've been getting like they've just been calling back like fan favorites from past years okay to come back and make a new song yeah so like that's where um, oh so they're fan like they were fan favorites from a previous year oh okay um with a different song obviously yeah that's i i like see again points for like having a native language and especially with the history of australia that's super important oh it's it's particularly bad because like the i forgot the name of the language and it's very hard to say but like the person, who, the person in the band who speaks it is like one of like seventy people who can speak. Oh it. my god, that's fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so obviously, yeah. <laughs> loads of points for that. That's yeah. really cool. Um, but the song itself is just so meh. It's. I think I described it in episode two as like this is the song where I would like, I would stumble upon in a festival. Like, this is someone yeah. I would not intentionally see at a festival, but I just kind of like yeah. walk in and yeah. I'm like, eh, yeah, I, I can chill out here for a bit or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Like, I can sit yeah, down yeah, yeah. and like come down from whatever cocktail of nonsense I'm on. 
Um, yeah, like it's it's the snuff or whatever it's called. <laughs> fucking the but, Swedish. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm over. I'm gonna OD on snooze. It was snooze, yeah. Um, snuff, sure. <laughs> but the <laughs> the the thing about it though is like it's really really not helped by like they had no budget music video that they had yeah, to make. Yeah, it's also a very weird vibe. They're like yeah. naked. I mean, well, you can't see anything, but it's implied. They're, they're clear. Yeah, yeah. And, I, yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah it's, it's a weird... Like, I'm curious. Obviously, we're not going to watch it, but maybe after, without giving money, I'm curious if they make it to the final, like... What the staging would be? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, what are you going to do with that? I'm... On f- I'm, I'm I'm really unfortunately thinking that the staging for that is just going to be them like walking out on stage going like, <laughs> yeah. like, like it, 90s but yeah. that's the vibe they got 90s like it's very 90s like it's very pop, um, like slow pop so I don't know yeah uh, shit bands like that from the 90s would have been things like um, Lighthouse or like Counting Crows or whatever or like, maybe Counting Crows or I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of like um Oh shit! Like it, it's this very feel-good, almost world music-inspired hmm. kind of stuff. Like lifted and the shadows. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like it's very, it's all very feel-good. Like, well, the mom would listen to. Yeah, the way to work. yeah. Um, so it's it's kind of sad. But then, like, I I did my analysis of that semi-final. I'm like. If this beats some of the other songs, I wouldn't be upset. Like, oh no, hundred percent. I think it's yeah. like between them and like to like just qualify. It's like between Australia and Poland, and Poland is such like a nothing song that I'm just like, I would like the like the song, one, yeah. the one that has like the rare indigenous language in it to be in it yeah, over no, Poland. Exactly. Yeah. Um, interesting. Actually, I have a question for you because you care about the language thing. Because like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm kind of agnostic about it because like I understand the do it. Like you kind of have to do some English or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, who do you think? Like, if you could give a region of Europe, who do you think is guiltiest of doing English the most? Obviously, excluding Ireland and the UK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the ones that I guess Malta English. is also yeah. Um, I think. But none of the vibes. Who do you think does it more? I think the Balkans, no? Really? Okay, yeah, that's interesting. So the one that actually does it the most is the Nordics. Really? Yeah, I was going to say it yeah. probably oh, was going to be Northern European. Sweden, like, because like Sweden is the powerhouse of writing all like pop music. Everything they submit is in English. Yeah, true. Norway this year's song is in like Norwegian. It's the first time they've done it in like 18 years. Jeez, okay. Yeah, I don't know. It's like within the last 18 years, they've done it twice, including this one. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finland, yeah, yeah. Finland is the one that does it the most in like their language, hmm. and then the rest of like are always in English. Hmm, uh, interesting. Iceland's really weird. Also, Germany, no. Germany loves doing English, yes. Yeah, recently, but like Germany doesn't learning. know what it's doing at the moment. Germany, yeah, <laughs> Germany doesn't need to either they just because have like a TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing too. That was actually that's very unfortunate with Germany this year is that the kid that they got to sing is incredibly talented yeah it's very clear lines, yeah. like that's the thing is that then but just like putting it's it's also so unfortunate too because germany has no idea what the fuck they're doing mm. is that then maybe an act like him being a little bit more like rocky could have actually worked because he has a phenomenal voice for doing like rock music and even something a bit like it doesn't have to be like you don't have to send like rammstein or whatever you sent or like like lord of the lost whatever it was last year you can do something like different and even in the sense of like even if this guy wasn't the eurovision thing it's so unfortunate that then that germany just doesn't know what to do with like talent that it has it's like oh we have to like force this like tiktok kid who you know, clearly has some pipes on him yeah. to then just like do over a shitty dance beat with like these like nonsensical lyrics. I mean, I, I don't think it's a. Da- I think like what what Germany has done this year is we've done like we've done picture wyverns, we've done Imagine Dragons. Yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly. Shit. Like, yeah. like, like, like. Yep. It's just this, like, it's That's just this, vibe, like, yeah. with the fucking elephant sound in the background. The fucking elephant. It's so <laughs> bad. I, I really want someone who has a better like producer ear than I do. I used to have a really good one. I used to like 
watch Eurovision when I lived in a giant mansion with like a bunch of other musicians and producers, including Melty Brains, the people who wrote the theme song for, they didn't write as a theme song for Cornish Beatty. It's, it's their song, New Dawn, that we just use as a theme song. But anyway, a uh, great bunch of lads, but like I, I watched the Eurovision with them before, like and with the people I used to live with and they were much better at like picking out these things. People who have that producer ear we're Berlin Pace podcast. We must know someone. Must have one listener. I really want to know: is that genuinely an elephant noise, or is it like a, a trumpet. trumpet sound, or like some sort of brass sound that has been mixed so fucking weirdly that it ended up sounding like an elephant noise when it wasn't meant it's to? It's Germany. They probably just put an elephant. Sound in. <laughs> <laughs> they went to Berlin. Zone. It sounds like it sounds Mary like elephant. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like an elephant. I mean, to to it really does. It really like it's and also just like G- Germany's entry is so corny that of it is. course they would do that. It is. It's very Imagine Dragons is the word. Yeah, it really. It's just it's bad. It's going to come last. Yeah. So, um, do we have any other last mentions? Uh, mm, I'm no. excited for, for. I'll do the list for. The Eurovision. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. We we Eurovision. have to we have to do our top ten. Because yeah, you're going to be jurors. Each yeah, of you. yeah. We're going to mm-hmm. we're going to turn to the camera at yeah. the night and we're like we're going to require your like deuce point or whatever. <laughs> and uh, I will and I re- will refuse to give my points to the country to, to, Armenia. Yeah, to Armenia. Twelve <laughs> points to and then like Greece. the dramatic no the dramatic like oh yeah we're doing that. we're a hundred percent doing that. Grace <laughs> or like whatever. Um, yeah, so excellent. I'm looking forward to it. Um, more, more information incoming. I'm also. I think I'm gonna. I think I've. I figured out what I'm gonna do at the beginning of the show, which is I'm gonna catch you up on a bunch of like bullshit trivia that has come out about Eurovision this year. Very excited for it. Um, with that, mm-hmm. we should mention that only Mister God knows is a, a large content marketing scheme to get you to come to our live show. <laughs> Please, please come on the 11th of May to uh, uh, Gearovision 2024. Do not watch the Eurovision. TM, TM, TM. Do not watch it. Do not tell anyone from Universal Music Group that we're doing this. Uh, (laughs) Where we will be watching the music videos and you as an audience member in Berlin will be a juror. There is, I think, about 10 tickets left. Um, And then... Then we'll also be on twitch.tv forward slash corner spady where you can watch and the people on Twitch will be a televote. And that's how we're going to make it work this year. And then I will pay attention to Eurovision Twitter to see who the fuck has stormed the stage, <laughs> punched Aiden Galan in the face or whatever the fuck's going to happen at this. Um, yeah, so come on down. Uh, and with that, I will see you, well, only Mr. God knows when. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sorry,